All right, hello folks on Twitch and YouTube, welcome back. Uh, sorry about the last stream. Uh, we're back. Uh, we're fairly mentally normal now, uh, as as far as that goes. Well, yeah, I didn't write some side missions. Yes, will go away if you do the main story too much. Um, <clears throat> oh, they're faction dependent. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, and again, I was talking with my Twitch chat over at twitch.tv slash Vertigo Tea Party, where you can catch all the newest and oldest games all at the same time, uh, streaming four times a week. You should probably go check it out. Uh, we we're talking about how uh, some side missions will go away uh, if you get too far in the story. Uh, but if we miss some side missions, we miss them. Uh, this, I want to try to, I want to make this beekeeper happy. Let's try this. The last one was fairly easy, which means I'm going to completely fail these immediately. Gonna make this jump, but some of these, like, you kind of uh, okay, yeah. Hey, oh, god. Oh, this time it's in an order, okay. Shit, I didn't need to do the swang thing just to swang in. Every time I see these now, these uh, that type of roof, oh, god. I think about, uh, remember the, there's a clip of it too, uh, but where, this is probably a mistake. <laughs> no problem. Go oh, great. Uh, shit. Wow, that's a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we're definitely not going to get it this time. Which is fine. Uh, part of this is like kind of figure out the the pathing, or like what what path to take. Oh shit! I just realized my stamina was low. My bad. I'm still like trying to figure out how to properly use that little stamina boost or not stamina boost. Uh, speed boost thing he does. It takes a huge stamina hit, and it doesn't. Like, it doesn't feel like it does extra distance, but it does. That was way too far. Nailed it. So having really bad depth perception for this stuff is kind of rough. Son, could you not put your bees in a more accessible spot, please? I told him to roll, but hey, he didn't take any damage. That's all I care about. Eaten. There you go. So I, it's it's so hard for me not to just hold shift all the time because, well, twenty something years of gaming have really taught me to do that. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't like that. It did not like that downward slope. Good lord. I actually prefer the shorter ones, honestly. That's what she said. I started with the last one? I thought they only gave you the one to start with. I will say, I feel like the, um... Uh... The climbing speed increase? Like, I don't really feel it. Yeah, the far jump is really nice. Well, I thought it was three Bs, like, you went to three locations or something. I don't remember. I don't think the first one was called that, was it? Did I make this last time? I did not. Now let's do that again. I feel like we could make that, maybe. Hold on, where is that at? Uh, right here. Sure. Shut up. That should take the sting out. <laughs> yeah. 
Mission almost complete. Aiden? Don't ever fucking pun like that. Ever again. There's more falls like where that comes from. You little fucking shit. Don't ever... Ever do a pun like that again. Your knees will be nothing, son. Oh, I can't wait Take this it. thing out of it, huh? Because of bees. Yeah, I mean, I, yes, yes, Felix. Yes, I realize this. I realize that all of these are here. Yes, I know that. My point was I thought. That when you did the first one, like it was the only one available at the time. Shit. I thought it. I really don't get the speed boost. Well, sort of speed boost. Because we tested this before, like where I hit shift for the speed boost, and it just doesn't. Like there, I just hit it. Like it's, it's like they don't move any faster. But you actually do get more air. Such a weird fucking angle. I feel like this is a possible jump, though. But I guess I can just run on the middle thing. Oh shit. Was it where I thought it was? Oh, not. He made it that time. I won't remember that, so I need to make sure this is the gold medal run. Lost a lot of momentum there randomly. I don't know if they fixed that bug with uh, pushing the button, but I'm I'm just pushing it like way early. I'm not taking any chances. Like, I'd do it, like, halfway to the jump, the jump roll button. I believe I can fly. Oh. Alright, I think we said this was the better. Damn it, I keep hearing the bees, and I'm like, oh, I need to grab that honey. This is not going to work. Nope. How did I get up here last time? Okay. All right. We're going to try that again. But this time, grab it. All right. We're going to try that again, but this time, I need you to grab it. You can do it. No, you can't. Apparently, you really can't. How did we get up there last time? Uh, we'll find out we went up there, then we'll just restart it. He's not, uh... Oh, that's right, we jumped up here, didn't we? Yeah. What's up, Traz? Yeah, well, we ended up taking shitloads of fall damage uh, until we realized... That, that skill is bugged out if you change your... If you change your... Your, uh, bindings. The roll skill, if you change the bindings, it doesn't update it. But it kind of does. It's really bizarre. Might be a little faster. I keep wanting that to work, but it's never going to. No matter how many much I want it to happen, it's just not gonna. I can wish all I want. He's never gonna make that jump. Cool. 
I mean, you've made that jump a few times now, Aiden. Relax. Wasn't wasn't that cool. I mean, I could have made that jump. I couldn't have, but maybe in my prime. No, no, I would not. All right, we need to find that little lamp thing. Oh no, I could probably. Uh, the fucking. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, you do not want to make that jump on the uh, the slope. Because he does not, because uh, it fucks up his momentum. I don't think this is gonna be. God, that shift is such a huge stamina hit. Yeah. Well, I right, fucked that. He bumped into the tree. Oh, oh for God's sakes. Alright. No, no, Aiden. What, what are you doing, bro? Pressing G. Like, doing everything but what I'm telling him to do. He bumped into the tree. a little bit further than I really feel like reaching today. We won't do this all day, because I only have so much patience for it. Uh, ugh, there's really no... Clean. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess they want you to go that way. Yeah, these are mostly about just learning the path. Okay, I don't know really. Why do you like that jump so much, Ethan? Like the second time you're like, fuck yeah! God, I love jumping around. Here, please get out of the fucking tree. Uh, yeah. Swear to God, if you wouldn't have fucking grabbed that, I'd have broken your goddamn arms myself. Yeah, it's just so weird to get use of the timing on the little sprint jump thing. Because, again, you don't really get a visual speed boost. So it's hard for me to be like, okay. I, I see the boost. Now, go jump. So I don't know, like, how long you have. Like, do you need to push it right before you jump? I might actually read the description again to see if it gives a little bit of clarity there. It just, I gotta say, it doesn't feel like a great, like, skill. Like, it doesn't feel like a great skill to use. Because there's no, there's no feedback to it. Other than, like, after the fact, like, when you jump. Ugh. Yeah, we're not gonna keep doing that. Silver's good enough. Eh, uh, I guess we'll try the next one. Oh, I want to read that skill real quick. It had to be agility. Or parkour. Surely. Dart. Temporarily increase your movement, which allows you to speed across wider gaps, reach higher ledges, or run. Yeah, I mean, it says a brief burst of speed, but I literally, like, I can't tell visually when I use it. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm going any faster. I 
Let's go. I mean, I'm sure you are. But it doesn't feel like it. You know what I mean? Oh shit, we're fucked. Because he's not gonna have the stamina. Nope. I should have looked at my stamina before we did it. I at least want to get silver on this for the agility, since agility is uh, a lot harder to get uh, skill point wise than uh, combat. Uh, ah, God damn it. Oof, luckily we had that perk. Because I, like I said, I also forget. What an insane hit to your stamina that ability is. Didn't you just leave here? Shut up. How many are there? Uh, five on this one. Didn't we do this with the first one? Like, oh, fuck. Fat fingered that. I want you to kind of parkour over the AC unit there. Surprised he grabbed that. I'm glad he did, though. Go, 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 go. Shut up. Oh, that one was easy. Which I guess, I mean, kind of makes sense. The third one is probably the, supposed to be the hardest one. All right, so that's good enough for now. We'll come back to that at some point. But doing these over and over gets kind of old. Though, shut up. I know about the bees. My God, shut up. There's a quest over here. I wonder if it's a nighttime quest. It's a mystery. You can grab that, but you couldn't grab the the windowsill by the prison thing there. When we're on a break here, I see all these miserable faces, and I think nobody loves themselves anymore. There was one way to learn how to do it, and it's gone. Nobody will ever love themselves again. Jack all one. I don't care. I get my ration and I'm happy. But nobody? Ever again? That sounds uh, extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? Are, are you some kind of spiritual guru trying to recruit me? Oh, no, please. I'm very down to earth. Hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But I used to be a florist down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar, when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. Oh, I hate this guy. Outbreak, people stop buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, it was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits were the highlight of my day. Until one day she didn't show. Whoa, okay. I mean, in the wrong context. What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order. And I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it. Just for her. <laughs> Sad story by... Oh no! Anyway... She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sad story. Well, bye. To her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but oh, of course, her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, uh, take the rose. Please find the house here. and give it to her. Take the rose. If she's still there. <laughs> a brave, strong commander like Matt can end the conflict. <laughs> I, just, it's, I just imagine the quest giver being like, here, this was her favorite cup. She used to drink from it every day. Please, Aiden. Take it to her. It was it would mean so much to me. <laughs> I don't know why that's cracking me up so much. Sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's be serious. <laughs> okay. Alright. We're okay. All right. This is serious. That old lady's dead, probably. Some shit about flowers and how it's important to her. Let's beat these guys' ass. That's what that old lady would have wanted. I thought he died from one hit. I was like, God damn, pussy. Shao Kahn. Okay. Didn't like it. Zombies, do y'all always have to come in? We're having the one-on-one. -on -one. I'll get back to your other questions, by the way. I saw your things about Lost Ark. I'll, I'll get there. Oh, shit, I got stomped. Forgot about that. You got a friend in this PK, man. You got a friend in me. Toy Story. Whew. All right. Uh, you're having trouble with combat? Hold on. Let's see which of my skills is higher. I guess you don't have a number. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess I do have them pretty equal. I guess if I wanted to level combat, I know how to do it. Like, with the parkour, I feel like most of your parkour XP actually comes from quests. I mean, that might be the the case. That might be the case with uh, combat 2. It just feels like because you're, you're getting the combat as you whoop some ass, it feels different. But it feels like most of your parkour XP just comes from finishing quests. Which may or may not be the case. All right, let's go go get this old broader flowers. <laughs> Did not sneak into the happy juice, so that that would be an interesting stream. All right, you're never gonna make it as a rocket. Stop trying. I mean, obviously, you want to try to do most of your traversing up on the rooftops, click, 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 uh, because of you know the parkour XP. I, am I crazy? Does that not? All right, hold up. Once we get down to this old broads place, we're gonna do a test again, and we'll see if it's just me. I don't feel like it is, but yeah, I did play the Lost Ark last night. I got like. Uh, four and a half ish hours in. I mean, I'm just, it's fun. I, I don't now know why people are losing their shit over it. It's a lamppost. Okay. Alright, so she said big ass glass building. Something, something. I was too busy really laughing at him to be honestly paying too much attention, but all right, big, big glass building. Got it. 
Also, here's a bus. Gotta love impact. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. And granted, I'm like four hours in, but I'm not like, oh my god, like, this combat is amazing. Like, it's fun. It's too easy. It's way too easy. It's got, it's got the uh, Path of Exile problem. Where the shit is just uh, brain dead easy. I'm level like 16 or 17. That's the thing, you can't, and, and again, I don't have any doubt that later on it gets more difficult. And I don't think early level should be hard. I think that's not a great way to go about it. Uh, get fucking stomped, son. And uh, from what I've heard, it doesn't improve until you get to max level content. Oh, this is probably it. I mean, it's got glass on it. A house made of glass. Reminds That's me of put... the flower lady. Yeah, I know. Maybe I should check it out. Check out these no, never mind. But no, it's, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing it. I'd like to get one character max at least. I've got a, um, War Dancer, I think, is what I made. The fisty, one of the, the fast fisty one. Oh, the questing's horrible. Holy shit. The questing and the story are dog shit. <laughs> It's like, it's like somebody made a parody of generic uh, RPG tropes and shit. Like, has a parody, but it's actually legit. Or like, you know, real. For them. Poppy. Poppy. I forget that meme, I can't do it right every time I try to remember what it is. Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the questing is terrible. Fucking terrible. I am a fister. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I, I knew there was world bosses. That kind of shit I'm down with. I like that. I love the idea of having world bosses at different level ranges so that people leveling up can, like, team up and take it out and get some cool shit. I love that. And my god, there's so many fucking systems. It's like, I grab some cards, and like, I couldn't even find where the fuck they were. Yeah, just jam your hand into that. The bees don't care. Oh, I'm looking for her dead-ass body. I mean, she could still be alive. Let's not give up hope. I was hoping something cool would be up here. But yeah, the questing's boring as shit. And, and, it, and again, it doesn't help that the, the story itself is just the most generic bullshit of all time. Like, chaos is rising. The demons are coming. You are the one. We must show them the light. And not list chaos and demon drain. It's like, oh, uh, Jesus, fuck, please stop. Like, I get, like, how are you do in current year doing that generic fucking story again? And I get this game actually technically came out in 2019, but I'm sorry. Even by 2015 or so, that trope of you are the one in a goddamn MMO was dead and buried. Speaking of dead and buried, where's this old bitch at? Oh, wait, no, I gotta take it to her, right? Oh, no, no. No, she did live here. All right. Fuck. God damn it. What the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> Ma'am, I got your goddamn flowers. We're looking for one of those, like, open window things. Yeah, I know. She doesn't live here anymore. I know, but I have to deliver these things. It's just a quest. But yeah, oh my god. Like, I mean, I don't... In an MMO, I don't care that much about story. But, like, when it's this generic, it just, it makes it worse. 
Especially because the quests are basically like, oh, go do this. Come back. Like, I don't know. It's it's really bad. But the combat's fun. Did I? Where the fuck is this dumb bitch? Is she inside? I got dibs on whatever's inside. Oh, there's her ass. Farewell, flower lady. So this is her story. Yeah. I understand now why she went to his flower shop every day. Her son should know that he was loved. What? Oh, 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 there was that thing. Is the Final Fantasy fourteen story shitty? Uh, the ARR one is. After that, I've heard it gets a lot better. Also, what's up, ATL Geek? Anybody else? I need backup over here. This ain't gonna end. And yeah, I I could never like I could never really get that invested in an MMO with top down perspective. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I can't get immersed. Like, there are certain game types that I want to feel like I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be, like, role-playing it up in Goldshire and shit, but fucking hell, I want to feel like I'm, like, in the world. And it, when the camera's like that, I'll never... I, I just can't do it. I can't get that invested into it. In, in that level. Right? And just like survival games. It's why I don't... I don't like Terraria. I don't like... Uh, what's the Project Zomboid? Uh, other than the zombie thing. Uh, I'll never even really get into something like Project Zomboid. I don't like the perspective in a game like that. I want to be, like, down in it. For, for a game like that. Like, if it's like Diablo, which, I mean, so far, it pretty much has been Diablo. Uh, I just wanted to bully her a little bit. By the way, somebody clipped that from earlier, right? Surely. Surely to God. Could this be any more boring? Does it always flash like that? No, no. Yeah, I found her. I'm afraid she... She had passed away. She was with her flowers. So... She died in peace. She did, yes. She wrote a letter and actually mentioned you. Side perspective. Yes. Here. I think you should read it. This old lady was... my mother? So many times as a kid, I imagined how she'd look. I'd see other kids at the park with their mothers, and... I'd have this knot in my stomach. Feeling I could never see mine. Knowing I could never hold her hand. Thinking she never even cared, when in fact, she did care. I did see her, every day, for years. I never expected that she... <sighs> Maybe this is why I couldn't throw away her flowers. It's not. Thank you, Aiden. Love isn't dead after all. No, it's dead. It's, it's over. I'm, uh... I'm going to need some time alone now. You're going to be alone a lot, son. Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. <laughs> Sad story, bro. Anyway. Anyway, your mom's dead. Uh, she was the flower lady. You got any more quests for me? Like maybe a immunity booster? Or... No. Helen throws necklace. I don't want that. Wait, is it? Wait. Can you sell it? That seems kind of fucked up. <laughs> it meant the world to Helen. How much would it be worth at the open market? Ah, uh, even the game devs are like, yeah. No, no, no more parkour challenges for a bit, please, game. Relax. <laughs> Chill with that shit. Uh, 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 let's go with Ultimate Fury Cricket, because why wouldn't we want to play... I mean, why would we want to play Cricket, right? Like, nobody gives a fuck about Cricket. Dead sport. Dead as ska. But Fury Cricket? 
Now that I can get behind. They as cunning as they say. But yeah, I think it's been fun so far. Like and I said, I want to give it a chance, but uh, the questing's terrible. The story is horrendous. But, um, and it, I find it funny, too, that, I mean, it's cool that it exists, but, oh, the Terraria thing. What I was, my point with Terraria is, you're not playing in first person. I guess it's how I should have put it. I, I, wouldn't, I need to be able to do first or third person uh, for a game like that. Uh, I, for survival games, I prefer first. MMOs, I like first person MMOs, but it's just not, it just doesn't work well, like, from a, Gameplay perspective, it's better to do it uh, in in third, so you can see more shit going on. Uh, but sometimes, like an ESO and stuff, I would switch to first person and play like that for a while. Uh, so I prefer first or third person for games like that. And Terraria is the side view, uh, and that, so I just can't. I tried Terraria, and it's a fine game, but I just I can't get into it. Like I, just, I don't for that game type. Again, for that game type, not every game needs to be first or third, but. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us more. This feud is silly. We all want that. Uh, okay. Force 20 infected out of the ring before time's out. Oh, yeah, brother. You ready to get into the ring with Aiden? Oh, so they don't die. You have to, you really do have to, like, force them out. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely a sport I can get into. Batter up. It's going to be hard to angle him just right. There we go. <laughs> no, don't die. I need you to live. I even, like, try to adjust. <laughs> Get fucked. Damn it. Oh, I was going to try to wombo combo that ass. Also, my uh, meter thing is going up. God, stop hitting that. Ooh, that one just barely went over. <laughs> Damn it. Keep trying to angle it. There we go. Damn that railing. Why you put the safety railing here? Alright, let's do it again. Yeah, a lost arc's pretty fun so far. I like I I will say I don't get the crazy infatuation with it. Maybe it picks up later on, and maybe some of those systems, because like I said, there's a thousand goddamn systems that they don't really... I'm assuming they don't explain it, because they don't want to be like, okay, here's two hours of tutorial about what the cards do, and what these little plant things do, and what this does, and what this currency for, and what this currency's for. So I guess they're trying to, like, spread it out. But it's just kind of weird when you pick something up. Like, again, I got, like, some kind of... Uh, these two kind of, like, cards. And uh, I even went to where the cards are supposed to be held. And they weren't in the list. So I, I just kind of gave up looking. Once they go down, it's kind of hard to... Oh, come on. There we go. Get over. I'm trying to like the best side to have them on, so we don't have those goddamn uh, those things in the way. Here we go. Yeah. Get him in a corner with baby. Which you should not really put baby in the corner, but... 
relaxing. Hold on, we wanted to get the gold here. The assassin? Wait, which one? Oh, like, yeah. Uh, I went, well, yeah, I, so there's several classes that look pretty cool. Uh, the assassin classes look pretty neat. Uh, the, the gun ones actually all look pretty cool, except the arrow one didn't, I wasn't as interested in, but the artilleryist or artillist or whatever the fuck it is, uh, that looked pretty neat. Uh, the other one where you switch guns based on your distance. So you're supposed to like, like kind of run back and forth. Of course you swung in the one goddamn direction. Uh. Alright, I can't, like, try to hit them on the ground, because he won't get them up. We'll try, like, one or two more times. It's going to be kind of a pain to get them. Uh, hello? Can I get more? Part of the problem is them not spawning fast enough. I kind of don't want to parry. Because... It you definitely don't want to hit the one they're getting up either. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't want to hit the other one. So neither one of them went over. Get up. Also, if they fall to the ground and don't get back up, it's kind of a problem. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of RNG in this one, I feel like. But what I was going to say, too, is it's funny because you get all these, like, customization options, but you can't really see your character. <laughs> if they're on the ground, or they're, you know, you get the camera so high up, you can't see them. It's like, cool eyeshadow. I was like, all right, well, I mean, I can't, I can't see it. I mean, of course, I still customize it, obviously. For fuck's sake, Aiden. You just can't hit them when they hit the ground because he will try to keep them there, which normally is actually a good thing. So you don't hit them. You definitely want to just kind of get them over here. Come on. I wish they spawned faster. Because it's like, I'm waiting on the game to spawn more for me to hit out. Yeah, we're not going to keep doing this. Uh, hello? Game? Alright, yeah, we're definitely not doing this one anymore. I, this was fun, but they got to tune it up. The fact that I'm sitting here waiting for them to spawn shit so that I can do the objective doesn't, doesn't really work. Like, I'm on a time crunch here, game. I'm, I think what might be happening is I think they're trying to make it so there's not too many at once. And I think, and this is just speculation, I, what could be happening is like we're, we're knocking them off. Sometimes they're not... Like, like they're like obviously once they kind of fall past a certain certain threshold, the enemies like or the game's like okay that one's dead take it out of the game. I'm wondering if it's maybe I'm hitting them someplace where they're not getting taken out quick enough, so the game thinks they're still in play when they're not. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but it's pretty fun. It is fun though, but they gotta <laughs> fix that because when I'm sitting around waiting on spawns, that's kind of a uh, problem. Okay. Uh, what other quest? It is nighttime, so we can do Unruly Brother finally. All right, can we? Can we? Wait, what? Oh, let me take that waypoint off. Can we do this without me getting distracted by a thousand different things? It's gonna be tough. Whoa, okay. That's, I thought he was gonna pull himself up. It's too, uh, it's RNG though. It's way RNG. Because I had, uh, sometimes they were like, if I hit them and they didn't go over, they hit the ground. And like one of them even got stuck on the ground for a while. Like he kept trying to get up, but then he would just fall down again. Just like Chumba Wumba. That was Chumba Wumba, right? I get knocked down. But I get up again. But I just don't 
Oh god, this was kind of a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is fine. Uh, let's get out of here before we run into 8,000 howlers. Because, yeah, there was at least once I saw one hit the ground, and I, he got kind of stuck by the wall. So every time he would try to get up, <laughs> cat knocked down again. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's the barbed wire. I, I still don't know what that F thing is. Mash F, which I was doing, and it didn't do anything. Uh, let's see. And then you saw there, like, I'm sitting there waiting for them to spawn. Like, they're all gone, and nothing is there for me to, to do. So that's kind of a problem. So we'll wait on that. We'll try it again later. Thank you, Talent. No, don't aggro. You little shits. Have they still not done any patches yet? My my radar is broken again. When's the last time they patched? They really, if they haven't patched this week, they've got to get on the ball, man. Hi. It does, I mean, and again, I don't know if it's because I'm used to how I have to make it work now, uh, but it does seem like the. The um, the fall thing is working better. The the fall roll thing, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it seems like that's working better. So maybe they have patched. Uh. uh, uh, uh. Zero. Oh, oh, easy. Easy, son. Nah, I'll just use my asthma thing. Why do they all grab it when you start a chase? That doesn't make any sense either. Alright, let's just see if I can get in here. Trying to do the stupid chase shit. Because uh... I was close enough, the run up and snap his neck should have worked, but I guess I was a little bit too far. What the fuck is the goddamn entrance? It really is Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2. Where the fuck is the entrance? Uh, well. Let's get in here. What? Fuck, no, that was. You're searching through the door. Shut up. Oh, here we go. Thank God they haven't figured out the advanced art of squeezing through doors. Get 
patch two to three times this week. Nice. Yeah, the stability stuff is definitely the most important, because crashing at a bad time would be really shitty. Like, a losing progress. Like, we crashed once, but we didn't really... We lost very little progress, luckily. I know uh, BB crashed once, too. I'm not going to move until the chase drops, so that... One, we don't have to deal with them spawning inside the building. And two, they will stop screaming like lunatics outside. Thank you. I'll need hobbies. Last patch for the console patch. Was it crashing on consoles? Or is it just like a, a console patch in general? You mean? Because that would be a bummer. Well, for them. I've heard the console versions do uh, have had some more issues. Which is, you know, yet another reason why to play it on PC. Just do it. He's only level one. There we go. We're good on time. Oh God, impact is the best. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Wait. Wait. No. No. Not. Oh, damn it. I want to do the stomp thing. We searched. I can't tell if stomp is F or E. Part 7, 2021. Wow, it's an old article. Way back in the past. Oh, that's another one of these. I still love using his fucking hands. What a goddamn Chad. Holy shit. If he was a carpenter, he doesn't need a hammer. <laughs> I've got two hammers already, baby. Leave no trash can unsearched. I know you wanted to parkour that really hard, and I appreciate you not doing that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's more satisfying than it was in the last one. And it was pretty satisfying in the last one. He really gets into it. <coughs> like, he he's like, fuck yeah. I mean, this used to be a human being and all, and I guess, but fuck yeah, I love, I love murder. Maybe I just like to kill. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! We went that route. Where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even keep Sophie out of it! She's the one who sent me, you it's dumb true. fuck. You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. And then what? Two, three, go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Make sure to make as much noise as humanly possible while you're in there. 
You make it's near. It's not making so much noise. You're spawning zombies in here. I have to watch them get up though. I can't actually fight them. That would be dishonorable while they're in their wake up animation. Not an animal. Where in the hell did you come from? I was hoping he would still be alive so I could, like, uh, stomp on his head. I'll go talk to him. Give me a minute. I got... I got cigarettes to smoke and bodies to loot. By the way, bro control, remember... Remember when I said, no, no, I don't think... I don't think Ark has a gun blade. Uh, there's an entire class built around a gun blade, so... Obvious, and it's the tank class, so it's perfect for you to pick up. Barney. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna impotently slam against this door over and over. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. You want to try, bitch? No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Bob. We went over this. I'm not going back without him. But you're in no condition to search for anybody. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! Thank you is actually what you meant. Not hurry. Thank you is, is specifically what you meant to say. Blood must be birdies. Trust He's got a to him. baby hands. That's a baby hand. That looks like Bro Control's hand. His precious little tiny baby hand. That can't hit control while he's playing video games. To, to uh, to crouch. I, I'm pressing Q, game. I'm doing it. Thank you. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. He didn't. He's dead. Ride him off. Hey, you find Purdy? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Sort of. Oh, here we go. I wasn't going down without a fight. How can you tell? There's like dead zombies everywhere and bloody handprints everywhere. How the hell you know this is Barney? We following random shit. Detective. Um. Come on. There you go. He was a little bit off. I can do the birthday song because it's Creative Commons. Well, no, that's not Creative Commons. It's, what do you call that? Uh. I'm coming, Birdie. Just give me a minute. Gotta loot some shit first.
You know all this climbing's going to make your blood loss worse, probably. Did you have to, like, dive through? Yeah, oh, he's dead. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Public Barney. domain, yes. That. Of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? I killed like 20 just to get here. Wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <coughs> over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta... Hello? Yeah. Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Oh, but soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Caller you're trying to reach is dead. Are you just gonna leave his mom hanging like that? Barney. You there? Barney? Uh. Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Uh. He's arrived. He what? He was supposed to I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Uh, yes it is. It's... Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. It's literally exactly like that. That is literally what he just did. Okay, two tears in a bucket. <sighs> That's stealth, bitch. Oh, wasn't even the right one. I'm in pain. My turn. Yeah, those bolters, they sound so human now. Nice roll. God damn it. Your fat roll was too rolly. What the fuck? I can hear that from a mile away. Stop running! Why are you running? Then why are you running? Uh, it's not like that. No, no, this you, your shit ass piece of brother, piece of brother. Don't listen to what they say, Pilgrim. Barney Shut up. May be impulsive, but he truly cares about the bazaar. Barney's a piece of shit, my dude. One hundred percent. He literally sent me away so he could keep the crystals for himself. Apparently he's out here. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people God off. God damn it. I hear Barney got hey. into trouble again. Hey. So what was that about the pilgrim? Scumbag. Looks like oh. no escaping a pilgrim. Oh, now you're saying nice things about the pilgrim. Now that I'm right here, Get that you realized I was in earshot, huh? 
stay out at night. Hey, how about this? How about you keep your fucking opinions and your discount mullet to yourself? How about that? Find something you like in the bazaar? Shut up. Pieces of shit. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Permanent. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fucker would Lucas deserve to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Uh, zombies, you fucking moron. The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. Your brother is a fucking moron, by the way. What's up? Cynthia, how's it going? Sunday's going pretty good. Oh, yes, it is half price candy. Eve, Eve. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. Oh, yeah. For some reason, Obviously. She wants to see you. So go bother her. She's... I swear to God. Let me pull my weapon out, please. Just let me just go ahead and pick my faction now by eliminating one of them. I would gladly just kill everyone here. No, no regrets. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. Oh, fuck off, you stupid he idiot. Barney, remember? <sighs> Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Your brother's a piece of shit. wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. Yeah, he's but human. Upside, he's equal waste. Unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Yeah, it sucks that... Well, I mean, I guess it gives replay, I guess. But, yeah, it sucks that there's, like, perks that are tied to the faction you pick. Like, I'd rather be able to just pick the faction I want... I Well, hate less. And not be like, well, I would pick these guys, but the fact... I like the perks better. But it's not a big deal. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas... He deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. No, you can't. I started learning that when I was a kid. You clearly fucking can't. Like, you'd all be dead. They took our food and water. I mean, granted, we we're just sitting around not doing anything other than the farming bit. We're not, you know, going out and dealing with zombies. But I mean, you know, we'd be fine on our own. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did oh, great. Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. No, he That's wasn't. He bailed on you. What? He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. 
but even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. Exactly. Self, the more he tries to help others. Shut up! Are you this fucking naive and stupid that you don't see that your brother just gives a fuck about himself? Like, I get it. Like, she's family. She's completely oblivious. Also, that doesn't even make sense. She's like, oh, well, he was just tore up about what happened to the kid. Uh, so he ran up. It's like, no, 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 don't you dumb bitch. He didn't know he was dead. Like, he dies literally five seconds later. I call you and you're like, oh, he's here. So you're telling me he got from where the crystals were to your place in five seconds from hearing that he died. No, your brother's a piece of human garbage and you're fucking a moron. And I would look it's the the game limitations are the only reason I don't wipe all of you people out right this second. And yes, Yuri is exactly loyal, except for that guy he sent off and to die to save his ass. And he's like, oh, well. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Losers. Smelly losers. Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. Well, she... Luckily, you really, uh, you really broke the, uh, broke the tradition there. You're a great person. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Well, vicariously, I guess I'll because of this ridiculous blockade in the center. live while others die. You all have seen it too, don't lie. The arrival. Oh, there's another quest too. Can can he wait for some side quests to be done? Because three thousand, damn, of valuables. All right, let's sell all this other stuff. Damn. Yep, yeah, get a lot of decent weapons. Like, yeah, his weapons are better, but not. It's not like the the gap like in the first game. Like, the gap between, the, like, almost everything you found in the first game was just dog shit. Uh, but this one, he definitely's got better shit. Oh, we can make a Molotov at some point. I uh, will definitely buy these. I haven't tried, I keep forgetting to try the coins. I did try the daggers, too, at some point. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is the, the exact same. Wow, it's the exact same head I have. How embarrassing. Oh, that, wait, what? Oh, no, I'm selling. Okay, wait, I was like, wait a minute. I don't know why I get that confused so much in this game. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, those were mine. God damn it. I don't know why. I, I always get super confused with buy and sell in this game. It doesn't really happen in other games, but in this one, I'm constantly, like, uh, confusing the two. Uh, anything else we want to sell? Sell? Not buy? Oh, god damn it. That's right. I was want to keep that one. In case I needed a more tanky. A tanky shirt. Not a tank top. That's different. All about that Parker XP. Which is probably another reason our parkour XP is staying closer. Is we uh, have the parkour stuff XP. I don't think it's making... It's not like a huge difference. Because I think combined we've got like maybe 10-ish percent XP. I'll have to look at that. I'm curious. Well, I'm not... I don't look every time up every time. Like, that's obvious. But I, if I'm in here... Fucking around, I just, I guess I lose track. I don't know. It's like I, again, it's part of my issue with being able to focus on shit. Ooh, more XP for that. Oh, wow. Twice as much. Uh, that's an easy buy. Mm, yeah, sure, why not? All about that XP, some different chess piece. And the pants, wasn't it? Yeah. So wait, I think there's... There's somewhere that shows, I think, all your combined stats, isn't there? Right? But I don't I don't read that. Nobody reads that shit. Like you you're telling me every time you look over this and you read like everything, you don't do that. You absolutely don't do that. You just click it. Um I th Yeah, I thought there was somewhere that showed you like all of your stats like combined. I guess I could just do the math. 3 3.1 5.6 And uh, 10 something, 13, call that 17. Actually, no, we're like 20% extra parkour XP. No, you don't. You don't look at every single item as you sell it. You don't do that. You're 100% lying. You don't do that. Nobody does that. You don't. Okay, click. All right. This says equip. I'm going to. Click that. All right, this one I cover over it. It says equip. You don't do that. Nobody literally does that. Literally no one on earth. Did I break the other weapon? Let's sell this. I, mean, I could probably sell some of those weapons to you, but. If you do, then you are more, even more like, well, I guess I'm not that anal, but wow, that's that is super weird <sighs> damn oh, we need a bunch of uncommon oh, we got, oh, somehow I think one of those quests must have gave us Molotov upgrade or the Molotov blueprint, nice um I wear I'm gonna make some of those blades and try some of them out. Because Pro Control was saying they're fairly decent. I mean, they don't take much. Rags and scraps, we have shitloads of that.
I want to try the coins, too. I keep forgetting to try the coins. We'll try the weaker ones first. Quality. The others? <laughs> There's a mod that adds a stat screen. Like, all... Uh... Yeah, I mean, not that I would need it all the time. Like, I honestly don't look at that a lot. I I like when that option exists. Like, the being able to see, like, all your stats just combined. Uh, that is definitely very useful. Honestly, I don't use it that much, but sometimes I would like to look at it and go, hey, how much XP do I have? But it's definitely a nice feature when uh, when it is available. You really think so? It must be right outside. Or... Sometimes like I just can't see. It's too dark. Oh, right. I have a flashlight. Oh. Come out right I couldn't even... Okay, I, I couldn't even see her. Out. Shut up. <laughs> Hope you guys like a black screen. Hey, dinner. Okay, you found me. Very funny. Get out of my way. Hey, relax. Oh, I would relax. If I could find my sons instead of a damn comedian. I will break your legs <sighs> right now. Your kids. They went out to play earlier and haven't come back yet. They're dead. Write them off. Hopefully they come right away when I call. They're dead. That's why they're not coming. Boys, game's over. Come out. Mo, Scott, you hear me? Scott. Uh, we, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. See him last. God, hours ago. Normally they'd be back by now, but I've looked everywhere. Do you think something happened? Maybe you've seen them. Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Uh, no, but boys their age they do tend to wander off. And die. Uh -uh. Not my boys. All right, we get it. We get it. All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? You. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, my God. I don't know what it was about that dialogue, but they drug it out. I'm looking for my kids. Okay, I don't need your entire goddamn life story. Your kids are missing. Got it. Uh, how much nighttime? Uh, we don't have much nighttime left. So I'll go ahead and look for these little shits. My kids are missing. I can't find them. Joey, Billy. Something's up. Susie, you there? Sophie, we're under attack. What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap. Run. Fuck. Susie. Hey there. Ralph. Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! <laughs> it's like, Joey, Billy, my kids are gone. Oh, are your kids missing? Yes, I can't find my kids. Billy, Joey, where are you? Huh, are your kids missing? Yes, I can't seem to find them. Billy and Joey, oh, well, they tend to run off, but they're missing. Billy, Joey, where are you? Like, oh my God, please, for the love of fuck. Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids, uh, Scott and Mo. Mo, he's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You seen him today? Today, no. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know, Buddy, Buddy's my dog. Haven't seen him, have you? Pretty big, thick black fur. Chases balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old, actually. No, but uh, I didn't think pets were allowed at the bazaar anyway. What about Mo and Scott? Any idea where they might have gone? Uh, who knows? But Buddy, Buddy's a stray. Tell me more about Buddy. Here every day to play with me. I was, I, I was home, but my uncle won't let me. I was kidding. One day. Hey, did you know it's not true that dogs only see in black and white? Oh, shut up! Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. Shut up. Yes, interrupt him sharply. Literally sharply. Listen, kid, I, I don't really have time for K9-101. Okay, okay. If you don't like dogs, you should have said something. I don't just like you. That's, that's, never mind. Look, I'll let you know if I run across Buddy. Meanwhile, I have to find Scott and Mo. Wait, I just got an idea. The bazaar gate, of course. Sorry, kid. I, I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me. 
but Scott and Moe think it's hilarious. Wait, so Scott and Moe may not have come out here after all? Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. Thanks for the tip. It, don't worry. As soon as I find them, Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend too. I have a feeling Buddy is intentionally not showing up. I don't want to marry Because he doesn't want to be around you. She has to have beauty, smarts, and a oh. water. Maybe I played too much Lost Ark tonight, but man alive, I have so little patience right now for NPCs that bang on and on and on. Normally, I, I consider myself fairly patient with that shit. But my god. I feel like whoever wrote those quests was just in verbal diarrhea mode. Also, I realize those guys got uh, ambushed. I don't give a fuck. I will help them whenever it's convenient to me. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I could laugh at my own frustration, but I literally was losing my fucking mind just now. I literally thought I was going to go insane. It reminded me when I used to hang out with an ex of mine and sweet Jesus would she bang on. It was when I realized that like we could not we could not be like an item because she would just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk relentlessly and I literally one time thought I was going to go insane. Not hyperbolic not making a joke. I literally thought I was going insane. Because she talks so goddamn much. And I realize there's a little bit of irony since there is a streamer. I talk a lot. But not even. Not even the fuck insane. And that boy grew up to be Preston from Fallout. Which I guess thematically kind of makes sense too. There is a settlement in need of your help. Well, too goddamn bad because I have a dinner date. Let me go deal with these uh, bandits. There's something there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this guy's killing us. What the fuck? Where's your buddies? You you uh you rang the XP dinner bell. Let's fuck this dude up. Nice camo shirt. Did you get interrupted from your Walmart shopping spree? Oh, look, your fucking twin-ass brother's over here. Fuck off the side of this building. It wasn't that much of a fall, though. Yeah, I guess I was. I guess I fucking was. Let me help you. Making a little blood angel. Leon! Leon, help! Leon! Ugh. Honestly, she was less annoying. Far less annoying than that than that kid. But that's my thing. I'm supposed to talk a lot. Though I will say I disagree with like streamers and YouTubers and shit who feel like they have to talk, talk constantly. Sometimes you can just shut the fuck up. It's fine. Please, Kyle Dar, I need you to never mind. It's fine, we'll just go. I don't need my Kyle Dar. Mo! Scott! 
little fucks. God, you guys here? <laughs> Are you inside this resin bottle? Mo. Scott. Mo. Uh Still nothing. God, I don't like this. You know what that sound is? You know what that sound is, Aiden? That's the sound of children not being around. It's actually a great sound. Trust me on this. <laughs> well, they must be dead. Let me go tell the mom and... Scott! Well, that's... They're dead. Investigate the screams. Hold on, let me heal up first. Hold on, kids. I'll get there eventually. Can you slide down? Come on, even Dark Souls guy could do that. And his jumping skills are abysmal. Scott? Your mother sent me. Where's your brother? We we played and the dog ran off and Mo! He's dead. Brought him off. Sorry. Both your children were dead. But wait, I'm still alive. What happened exactly? Tell me more about the dog. For the dog to fetch, and it, it ran in there. Uh, you said it ran off. Well, um, it ran inside. Then we went after it, and, and infected it, attacked us. The dog, the dog saved us. I gotta go back. I gotta save Mo. Mom will kill me if I don't. Which floor is Mo on? Uh, second floor, or no, th third, or maybe fourth. I don't know. Please, help my brother, mister. Go back to the bazaar. I'll find him. I promise. Watch out for the infected, mister. Yeah, no, you don't think really there's infected in here? What, you mean like, like zombies? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a glow light. Don't, don't try to drink it, you fucking millennial. Actually, I guess he's a boomer, technically. <laughs> Please. Need a shitload of them. My buddy, my buddy and me. Also, there was Kid Sister, which had pretty much the exact same theme song because I guess they just couldn't be arsed. This weapon's about broken. No more mods we can do on this one, right? You gotta help me, mister! I mean, I ain't gotta do shit. I know, it's a dark zone. I'm just over these quests that had to be done at the night time. We'll see how this goes. Also, how fucking stupid are these kids? I guess if the dog ran off, I could see, like, being like, Oh shit, let's go save the dog. If he's a human, I'd just let them die. As long as there's no virals. They're probably not, right? I mean, if there's virals, those kids are definitely dead. Unless they have that sweet, sweet plot armor. Hmm. 
guy's not even that dead. <laughs> Solid as a rock. You mean, best hope the volatile doesn't... The volatile will be okay if I don't find him, is what you mean to say. You're almost broken. Why don't you look for a new one? Fucking roasted the game just now. Those crystals that I don't know what to do, use for yet. Damn it. Smash it with your hands. Don't be a baby. Yeah, it's just solid rock. You'll be a pussy. Taking shit out of these boxes and closing them back to troll my ass. I don't think I'd want to wear Sunday shoes while parkouring. Maybe not a great idea. Dog, dog, no! I can't interact with the dog. I don't give a fuck about this stupid kid. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. It's it's out there. It attacked us. The dog saved us. Poor little dog. And we... You're fine. You're safe. You understand? Hey, look at me. Now your mother sent me. She's looking for you. Okay, come out. It's back. I'm not coming out. Shut the door. You could have brought the dog in here, you little fuck. I'll go check. What a piece of shit. Just keep that door shut. What a fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, you little turd. Leaving the dog out here. He saves you, and you don't even pull the dog into the UV light area. I don't know if this is the Dead Rising situation where they don't actually, like, attack the dog. Because, like, in the first Dead Rising, they didn't attack the dog. But, still, though. Oh, come on! And that's not fair! How about this? Is this fair, bitch? Is this more like it? Bonk! Alright, let's go. Nope. <laughs> Calling out of goddamn walls! Whoa, what the f what the fuck? Thanks. Ooh, I'm actually surprised they didn't hit. I mean it shouldn't have, but I'm still surprised it didn't hit. I'm still mad at that little shit. Oh, the dog saved us! And then I found this room with UV lights. I didn't bother bringing the dog in here because I'm a selfish piece of dog shit myself. God, what a little shit bag. All the low down. Oh yeah, I don't feel bad for that kid at all. Fuck that stupid ass kid. Little twerp. It's not like the dog is on a completely different floor or, or like he's putting himself in serious danger. He's literally right outside. And he can't be arsed. Makes me sick. I'm going to take the dog back and leave the kid. Ugh. 
Come on out. It's over now. You're safe. You sure? You sure it's dead? Yeah. Now, what were you two doing here in the first place? This is not the time for this, Aiden. We, we were just walking, and we heard barking, and went in. Hey, but your brother said you were playing with the dog, and then it ran in there. Yes, that's what I meant. I'm gonna snap your neck. Also, his face looks like a ventriloquist dummy. I, I won't judge you. Uh, that's a little too late for that. Look, Mo. I think you're lying. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. We I'm not lying. Because, I'm telling the truth. Because the dog, he, he attacked the thing. But he saved us. Otherwise, we, we would have... There's nothing we can do for him now. You don't know. You're not a vet. It's our fault. We chased him in here because we were hunting him. Wait, wait, hunting? The dog? Why the hell would you hunt a dog? For mom. For her birthday. We don't have nothing. Not even anything to eat. But we didn't want her to go hungry. Not on her birthday. And when we saw the dog playing with this kid, Dominic, we, well, got an idea. I swear to God, if I could gut you and let the dog feast on your entrails, I would do it. While your mother watch. Fuck. No, no, what? This are, neither one of these are great options. Oh. But we could save the dog, maybe. Take the dog to the damn thing. I'll leave the dog be, because I feel like maybe we could save him. You're a horrible child. He'll be gone soon. Now get back to your- How do you know? The fuck? Does, does this game just try to make you hate everyone? Because it's doing a fantastic job of that. 10-10. Literally wish I could just kill everybody in this game. Yeah, it's almost like it's our fault. Yes, literally it's your fault. There's no in-between. There's no, like, well, depending on how you look at it. Or, like, on some weird philosophical level, it's your fault. No, it is literally your fault. It's like if I grabbed the, the sharp edge of a knife blade and squeezed and my hand started to bleed... It wouldn't be like, well, if you look at it, it kind of in a weird philosophical way, you're bleeding because of yourself. No, literally my actions have caused the result. How? Wait a minute. You can't be no one. I can see you, fuckface. Yeah, I know. I'm standing by in the daylight by a raging fire. I would hope you could see me. It's on now. Oh, I don't need to dodge it, Frick. Eh, not bad, actually. I got something for you, motherfucker. Oh, I thought you had something for me, motherfucker. Huh? Almost got me there. Didn't I? A little bit early. Early. God, everything sucks. I hate humans. People are the worst. Wipe them all out. I feel like the zombie virus was right. Can I just... Can I side on the zombies' side? Can I join them? I wonder if this is a trap. Another lamb to the slaughter. 
Yeah, you right about that. More right than you can know. Take this now, come on. Take this. You're all out. Order up. Got you now. No escape. <laughs> you right about that. It'd be, it would be less annoying. I would hate them less. Like, I, I do wonder, like, what were they going for? Like, were they just trying to be like, look. Because I do hate when it's like you get two sides of an option and then one side's the obvious, like, good guys and the other side's the obvious bad guys because, you know, life doesn't fucking work that way. Right, like the good, there is no good side typically. There is no bad side, except of course in the pineapple on pizza war. Obviously, there's a good side and a bad side there, but outside of that one exception, uh, there's usually there's usually like good people on both sides, terrible people on on all the factions or whatever groups, whatever you want to call it. But, like, you need something to balance it out because, like, everybody sucks. Like, we've met, like, two or three good people this entire time. Everybody else has just been a piece of shit. You need some good people in here with the bad. Otherwise, you just end up hating them all. Center. We are free people. I don't know what to do. You spend all your time caring for her. When are you gonna stop? I already checked around the church, but he wasn't there either. Come on, guys. Buddy's your friend now, too. Help me look. Now's not a good time, Dominic. Please leave my boys alone. Shut your whore mouth. Something happened to him. We gotta do something. Scott, Mo, say something. I'm asking nicely. Please. Look about to rat like these little turds out. You pet or something. He seems like a man of some means. Not uh, leave my boys alone. Hey, it's you, Mister. You seen Buddy anywhere? Wait, so. You haven't told him anything yet. <sighs> Buddy's dead. Did... Did you know about this? They lured Buddy away to hunt him, to uh, kill him for food. But the infected were swarming inside the building. If it hadn't been for Buddy, they'd be dead too. Or worse. Well, well he's lying. I, I, we would never do that, Dominic. I swear. Mo explained it to me when I saved him. A birthday present for their mother, he said. Is that true? Is... Is that the reason you suddenly started playing with me and Buddy? Was that it? He's lying. Mo? You need to leave now. Well, the kid deserves to know the truth. <laughs> the truth? An honest pilgrim? Oh, that's a good one. People don't shun you for telling the truth, but for lies. Get the fuck out of my house before I call the guard. Holy shit. Subhuman garbage. 100% signing with the PKs. 100%. They told me they were hungry. I would have helped, especially for their mom's sake. But now I never want to see him again. Thanks for finding Buddy, Mr. Harbor that hatred, child. Now I'm sure he would have liked you. You're a good guy. Let it fester and size you. Wow. 
You fucking pieces of shit. I s like thieves. Sometimes you run across the rare ones with a good heart. Shut the fuck up. What do you know about being a good anything? Fuck you and fuck your piece of shit children. I swear to God, if I could chop them up in front of you, I would do it right the fuck now. Fucking subhuman trash. What are you up to these days? Shut the fuck up. God damn, these people are awful. Anybody who is like, well, you know, the survivors, yeah. but the PKs, they're fascists. I don't want to, I don't want to sign with fascists. Fuck off. If you pick this over the PKs after doing that mission, fuck off. You have zero room to to complain. Zero. I am. You are a terrible, awful human being. These people are deserve nothing but a slow death. And I hope I'm the one who gives it to them. Now I could go I could see that, Traz. Like everybody's like, oh everybody's losing their humanity. Like so on a very like basic level, I get like, okay, you know, we're super hungry. You know, we literally are starving to death. Be respectful. We have to eat the pets. Alright, I get that. But this isn't the case here. They're like, hey, you know it'd be a good prison present for mom, because sometimes she's hungry. Let's go kill that that kid's dog. That's the other thing. This wasn't just some random stray dog that they found and tried to kill. It was this kid's dog, and they're trying to befriend him so they can get close to the dog to kill it as a gift, uh, like for uh, to give the meat to their mom. That's fucked up. So again, if it had been a stray, yeah, okay, it's still kind of fucked up, but it makes a little bit more sense. No, fuck those kids, fuck that bitch, and fuck the survivors. I hope to uh, test their name soon enough. What assholes. Oh no, we're still looking for the shooby thing. Ugh. Bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Army seized him after a lunatic killed a bunch of people in March 2024. God knows who's got him you now. Sure? Uh, I guess that's them them explaining like why there's no there's no guns. Uh I wanna go I wanna get this damn quest done. Ooh, there's a house. I mean Yeah, they're in the enhanced tab, Traz, but that's where you enhance the cards, I think. You don't use the cards there. So I can enhance the card that I don't know how to use. Might as well, try that. You suck it. Might as well fucking suck my ass. Okay, my dropkick didn't work there. Bitch. Bam! Pretending you are that those kids and their mom. Absolute. Just terrible. Uh I feel like this chest is clipping to that box a little bit. But yeah, like uh Trez, I found them there, but I couldn't find them in the bigger list. Even when I search specifically, and that's the thing, even if you start to type the search. It auto completes, and then you search, and it's not in the list. So I have no idea how the cards work in that game, or what they're for. Do we level up, by the way? Oh, we got yeah, we did level both up. Nice. Oof. All right. I haven't been that angry. I don't think I've been that angry at NPCs since Walking Dead, the Telltale game. Though I was more angry at that NPC in The Walking Dead. Because fuck that bitch, whatever her name is. You know what I mean from The Walking Dead Season 1 Telltale. You know who I'm talking about. Ooh, dropkick. Probably going to pick up dropkick. Because I can't get this yet, damn it. Because I don't have enough health. 
<laughs> the stab. The stab just seems fun, but you gotta have a knife on you, though. I'm assuming, so it says requires a knife. Does that just mean I have to have a knife, period? Or do I have to have a knife equipped currently? Uh, which, I mean, it's not a big deal. It doesn't seem like it's even that helpful. Uh, the ledge takedown, though. Again, also, in this game, I don't think it'd be that helpful, but it'd be fun. Smash jump. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. that's pretty sexy. But, okay, drop kick. Anyway, drop kick. And press E twice while in the air. Okay. Uh, ledge jump. That could be handy, but I bet you that eats stamina like a bastard. Slide. It would just be nice to have some momentum, even though I don't think it's that great. Press G while moving forward. Speed while stealthed. Could be handy. Uh, that could definitely be useful. And we can't do that because we don't want to stamina. Oh, far jump, too. I like this would be really good for the parkour challenges. Uh, let's do this. Tap E while jumping over an obstacle. Yeah, let's try that one. Yeah, smash jump looks brutal. <laughs> Did you do that quest? Pro control the dog one? Fuck those little turds. Kids are the worst. Uh, speaking of, I hear a baby crying now. Ooh. Oh, that is sexy. That's that uh, jump one thing we just got. That's uh, that's pretty sexy right there. Unsolvable because of your actions. Wait, really? Did you side with the PKs already? 